Welcome to Grunty's unboxing. This time we are boxing Pipe and Barrier Shot for Xbox 16. This is our 2D style fighting game published by 5PB, I believe it is. Yeah, I finally got that right. So, this is what the front looks like. Get my hands quickly. Yes, so 5BP is his company, published a lot of Japanese vision novels for Xbox 16. So I'm just to make this quick, this is a rerun of my unboxing video because, because what I'm going to show you next is an unsynced video which is, well, I just took the seal off, so right now it's supposed to be sealed, and like actually, and when I recorded it, I, my unboxing video I put in parts, so like, it looks good, so like, I don't have to you know, wait for the cutting scenes, and <laughs> I can't cut one and stuff, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the next round. Let's unbox this little fellow, shall we? So, how are we gonna take this out? We don't know how to take this out without damaging the package. I think you should like, just drop it out like that. Okay, like so. We've got the soundtrack, which is in a DV sleeve, which I was, I was expecting to be in CD sleeve, but it's not. I actually like the CD sleeve better than stack of the other music. I don't, I don't even, no one buys CDs these days. Unless you want to be, I don't know, unless you're a fan of artist, you'll buy CD copies. Hmm. So I guess this can kind of box up later. Oh no, this is a surprise, I don't know what the hell this is. I'm assuming this is the art book. No, wait. It's a guidebook. Oh, well, art book and guidebook. Hmm, sweet art. It's gorgeous. So you got the. I thought it was an art book, it's more for both. It's like a straighty guide. <laughs> straighty guide. You don't see these around these days. I uh, don't want to bend this too much. Because, like, it allows to bend more. But... Yeah, there's a lot of characters. Well, it's, it's kind of a bit similar like Capcom versus Marvel. Like, kind of a fine style there. Where they just released like a. Like they reached normal game and they released an ultra version. Pretty much they did the same thing. <laughs> These guys did the same thing. Now oh, look, it's a chick from Jaguar's head. I don't think I believe it is. And I bet the next one's from Steins Gate. Yep, I was correct. <laughs> it's, I can't have a massive name right. <laughs> I'm horrible. I believe it's Ke Nah, I'm not gonna bother. I have an awful memory. Awful. Poor Granty. Poor Grant. Wow, that's sweet. Information that could potentially help us. Oh yeah, well, there is an English release out of right right now. There's an English release, which is just Path and Breaker, the original one, without the extra five characters. Yeah, only five types extra. Pain, that's a big deal. Um, yeah, Pain, that's out, and I have no idea what happened. Like, stream from the drop. There we go. The actual game, Path and Breaker. I wish that's why I said that name. Exactly the same thing. <laughs> Pretty much. Yep. Just now in a curly like at limited edition free DLC or something like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I should really get one of those unboxing knives. So what do you call them? Not unboxing knives, like packaging knives. Knives you can use to buy and stuff. Find out about stuff, stuff in the convenience stores. And wait up the boxes. Any DLC? No. Oh, well, I'm surprised. They changed the Microsoft Live game. I'm surprised they did this game. Have the Microsoft Live, very similar to how they did to GTA 5 and I believe Halo 4 did as well. Have the new Microsoft Live game. Hmm. I'm surprised. Major Nelson knows about this game. Turn to the website. Oh, look. No DLCs. Wow. 
and you get colored manual like any other no any other game like any other Japanese game any other Japanese game. it's in color and it's pretty much the same thing it's very similar to the art book or whatever it is guidebook straighty guidebook very similar very similar so I'm not gonna find anything new here And fortunately, someone banged me for the unboxing. Someone banged me a few days early. It was unfortunate, isn't it? But unfortunately, that quality was horrible. And yes, you can buy the soundtrack separately. Hmm. Yes, I don't I have no idea what the soundtracks are for. I believe there's a vocals, the uh, openings and ending soundtrack. I don't think this even. I, I, I really don't know. I'm just going to surprise myself. I'm sure you guys are for the ending. Alright, now let's unbox the soundtrack disc, which could have been a little better. Unfortunately, these are open. I have no idea why the hell they sent me this. Newspaper. <laughs> that is kind of weird. The first time someone sent me in the newspaper from Japan. First time. Obviously it's off eBay, but I don't know what to expect. It's pretty fast. Nice, yes, it's in a non-interesting car. Yes, yeah, there's yes, yeah, nothing special about the soundtrack. There's nothing special about it. I'm assuming it's exactly the same. The first one just adds a few more tracks. There's a list. So that's unboxing for Batman Mega Extra. Well, we're going. Give a run right now. After this break, see if this game is region three or not. Might find out the condition. I'm assuming it is because you know they're not. There's nothing extra running here, so I'm gonna assume it is. But let's give it a shot. Let's get to the 360. Test out if this game region three or not. The collector's edition. Why am I doing this? Because apparently some limited edition Japanese games, Japanese imports are not region three. The the, the edition ones. I don't know why. And I can't with my PDR because I'm lazy. <laughs> game booted. Launch game. Yes, my house is trashed. <laughs> uh, let's find out. I'm assuming it isn't. No, it isn't. It's finally been confirmed. I'm just saying thanks for But this is definitely region 3. Oh, you got that all on footage. Like, subscribe. 